going to talk about extending and automating your enterprise. When you think about enterprise, enterprise can mean almost anything from an architectural perspective. Um, with no limits or bounds on the challenges that enterprises face and the technology and innovation needed to meet those challenges. And with ArcGIS and the WebGIS patterns, your enterprises can exist anywhere. They can be hosted in the cloud. They can be existing on premise. There can be a hybrid of both of them with type collaboration between them. And enterprises often use the entire ArcGIS platform, cloud, server, desktop, mobile, native application development, and the customization aspects of them for you. So for this next section, what we're going to do is focus in on desktop software and its extensibility and using Python both for development and for automation within your enterprise. But before we dive into that, I want to take a quick status of software that many of you have used for many years and see what's going on there. We just shipped ArcGIS 10.6 in January, and of course, Here's the ArcObjects update with that. Many of you have used ArcObjects to customize and extend ArcMap. We bumped up the uh, Visual Studio versions to 2015 and 2017. We're still at .NET 4.5, looking at increasing that as well. And your deep investment in ArcObjects and extending your applications will continue to be realized. We'll be supporting uh, this software for a very, very long time. We understand. Uh, your deep investment there. For those of you that are developing ArcGIS engine applications or have, you're looking to modify them or optimize them, go for it. Go ahead. If you're actually embarking on brand new software development, I strongly encourage you to look at the runtime technology, native app development for that new work. And there's lots of information uh, on GitHub and, of course, the documentation uh, of the APIs and the SDKs as well for you to draw from. If you're extending ArcGIS Enterprise, you're probably using server object extensions, SOEs, or server object interceptor, interceptors, SOIs. And we understand you have a deep investment here from the server perspective as well, also fully supported. Keep on developing uh, using those patterns. And we've got some exciting news here. Uh, even more capabilities coming for you this year. We're going to be, uh, we're working on right now a brand new enterprise SDK for Java and .NET. And that's going to allow you to extend and intercept ArcGIS Pro-based map feature and image services um, using that. So that's exciting news. You'll hear about that in tech sessions at the conference as well. So let's talk a, bit, a little bit about ArcGIS Pro. We've seen it quite a bit th this morning. But you, know, you can configure ArcGIS Pro, its UI and settings and workflows without writing a line of code. Uh, so don't think you have to write code to configure Pro. Uh, you can automate it using geoprocessing in Python as well, and you can extend it using your own custom tools and solutions using the ArcGIS Pro SDK for Microsoft.NET. There's two extensibility patterns that people are using. One is a very familiar pattern of, of add-ins. Many of you have used add-ins for ArcMap for many, many years. Very similar pattern here. And the other is solution configurations. This really gives you a deep ability to brand the startup experience of ArcGIS Pro, streamline the UI, really customize it for what you want it to be. I'll draw attention to that picture in the lower right. That actually is ArcGIS Pro. But in the, the ribbon, uh, many of the buttons are gone. That's because it's customized for a utility company and their customized startup experience. That actually gives me uh, an opportunity to talk about the ArcGIS Utility Network Management Extension. This is a new management framework to support utility and telco solutions for the future, water, electric, gas, so on and so forth. It gives you the ability to model, edit, and analyze networks of facility infrastructure. These are complex networks. The really cool thing about this is it's designed to work for the entire Esri platform and all the clients in the platform. How? Well, it's a services-based architecture hitting REST endpoints, and it's highly performant. This allows you to access uh, that from ArcGIS Pro, from, um, from web pages, and from devices and mobile apps. And we're working on that now, and we'll be rolling that capability out this year. Really, this allows for sophisticated analysis like um, uh, tracing along network uh, connectivities and also affords easy interchange of information across mission enterprise systems in that regard. What I want to really emphasize here is this is a new revolutionary utility network. This is not the evolution of the geometric network. This is something new and something really powerful. Mm -hmm.